for fastest and cheapest Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, EasyMutt.com. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Tony Fire here, back in another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a one play touchdown in Money Play. Here to the Gun Bunch formation now. The play that I'm going to be showing you guys today, you probably have not seen before. It's a very unique play, and it's only in three different playbooks. Actually, uh, it's going to be in the Seahawks, which is what I am running right now, Falcons, and the Ravens. Now, Seahawks is my favorite playbook out of those three because it also has this Trail Y Flex that I've been running very lately has some great plays in there and then it also has a bunch tight end which is a great formation has trips tight end offset so a ton of great options to mix in with this play now i all uh, for this formation i do recommend getting a slot apprentice if you are running gun bunch and that is why we have michael thomas there make sure you just throw him in the middle of this bunch right here and then i would say put your faster guys on the outside saints don't really have a burner so we're just going to be rocking with ted ginn and the play we're going to be running today is going to be this clear out SE out. So we're just going to go ahead and come out in that on the wide side. And I'll show you it against cover three and cover two. It beats both for one play touchdown. So for the cover three beater, you do need slot apprentice. For the cover two one, you don't need slot apprentice though. So that is just something to keep in mind. Now you guys are probably wondering why I'm using Teddy Bridgewater. Simply just because Drew Brees has some weird like pass lead thing where he just doesn't pass lead all the way out. And that's just a little bit annoying, especially for these coverage beaters where you would like a longer pass lead. So that's I'm just going to be rocking with Teddy Bridgewater. Now, um, the setup we're going to be running is simply just put RB on a corner and we're going to put A on a delay fade. Now you guys see, I want you to look at this route with Ted Ginn. He's on this um, sort of like fade route. Now this is what fades used to look like. I'm not sure if this is your guys' first year playing, but... Madden 17, Madden 18, Madden 19, this is what the fade routes looked like. It was way easier to beat coverage because of how good these fades were. Now they made the fades terrible, like this is how the fades look now. Just basically a sort of delayed streak. So that is the reason why this play is going to be so good. And it's just going to make your coverage beater so much easier. So what I'm going to do is just put RB, like I said, on a corner route. I'm going to put A on a delay fade. And then this X route, you can do whatever you want. What I like to do is just like an in route, and I smart route him. Basically creating a deep corner setup, if you know what that play is. We have a delayed in. And then if we do have a skate bar, just we can roll out the side between the corner or the X in case he's not in cover three. But in this case, we're really trying to hit Ted Ginn. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead, double team that DN on the right side just so we're able to get out of the pocket. And then I'm also going to slide to the right. Go ahead, snap the ball here. I'm going to roll out. Set my feet and look at how much space Ted Ginn has. Keep in mind, Ted Ginn only has 92 speed. So if you have a 95 plus speed guy, you're going to be absolutely torching coverage. Unfortunately, the Saints don't have that. So we're just going to be rocking with the fastest guy we have. Now, again, I'm just going to go ahead, put RB on a corner, put A on a delay fade, put X on an in route. If you have like a second and one where you can't smart out him to put him on that deep in route you can just put him on a regular in route or like a slant something like that but for now let's just keep him on this extended in route and again i just want you guys to watch ted ginn now sometimes he might actually bump with the corner but it shouldn't matter just because of how far outside he gets so i usually like to click onto him and then snap the ball i feel like that gets him a free release but look how open he is I can go ahead and lob this up, and even if he clicked on, he probably doesn't make a play on the ball. He could, which is why I don't obviously throw it up, but you really just want a bullet pass. Again, I'll show you guys that really quickly. Snap the ball, and look at Ted Ginn. Look how far outside the numbers he's getting. There's no way a safety can go ahead and play that, and we still get an, over, an under throw from Teddy Bridgewater, so keep in mind that when you look at the separation. So I'm actually going to show it one more time, and then I'll show you guys the replay. Um, but basically the reason that we have RB on the corner out is simply just to pull down that outside third You guys have probably already seen that against cover three People love to run stock cover three. This will absolutely torch it And it is a reason that makes this bunch so good if you're only running bunch I would actually recommend switching to one of these offenses just because of how good this fade route is It can make life so much easier on you and like I said it also torches some other coverage So I'm gonna show you guys the replay Show it against the cover three right here. I'm going to start out here on the right side. Just go ahead, run it. Watch this outside third, number 35. He's about to be playing it. And actually, since he is on the fade, these guys don't run into each other. When I put them on a streak, usually they bump and makes a little, 
things slower. But boom, RB on that corner. He's going to pull him down. Look how far Ted Ginn is. If he's on a streak, he's pretty much just a couple of steps out. And he's still continuing to run to the right. This just makes the free safety's job super difficult. And then with a, an additional pass lead, he's just going to go even more to the right. No chance that outside corner plays it. And the free safety has no chance. We have almost five yards separation on both of them. So I'll show you guys one last time here. Um, if he does, like, let's say he puts deep halves, you could always hit that corner out. If he uses the corner, then you could easily just hit X. Or once you roll out, you could release this delay fade. But really, B is the route that we are hitting. It is absolutely money in the bank. I wish that they didn't take away fade routes. I would have so much better one play touchdowns i mean they didn't take them out but they just made them unusable pretty much i don't understand what the point of that was for ea but hey ea is gonna ea so um now let's go ahead switch our defense i want to show you guys a cover two right here and i actually have a different route combo for cover two you can run it two ways or you could you could actually run it multiple different ways so let's just come out in our play and uh let's just run this stock cover two now Cover two, these fade routes are going to be key just because they're so far to the outside. They continue to go to the outside, which is why you can pass lead them outside and you can actually pick up huge amounts of yardage. So the first setup, I'm just going to set it up exactly the same way we did for the other one. Um, but this is just going to be against cover two. So I'm still keeping RB on this corner route. You could put him on a different route, which you will see later in the video. But for this first one, you kind of want to make it look like you're going to beat cover three and then you could actually destroy cover two. There will be one sort of tell that uh, intends that you're going for the cover two beater. And it's just going to be, you have to motion this guy out. Otherwise, the safety is going to play the streak. So I'm not, I'm not going to motion him all the way out. I'm going to sort of motion snap him. And you guys will see that. So I'm motioning him out. And then I wait and snap the ball. So he's sort of shuffling. Then I wait for him to get past. I pass lead this all the way to the outside. And I'm able to easily pick that up with Ted Ginn. Now... I think I actually should be on the wide side. So this, yeah, I am on the wide side. Um, for the cover two beater, you want your bunch on the wide side. Actually, I already, I already was on the wide side. I'm not sure what I was talking about there. But again, just the same setup. I want to show you guys the motion a little bit better. So motion them out. Wait for him to shuffle. I actually messed up. So I'm going to show that again. So you're motioning him. Wait for him to shuffle. Snap the ball right about there. That's how you get him to the as far outside as you can but you also don't want him to get set because i'll show you guys what happens when you get him set um but basically if i motion him out and get him set he's gonna go ahead and actually get bumped inside more times than not so let's say i'm just running the same exact setup snap the ball watch ted again he's gonna get bumped inside so i can't pass you this outside because it's gonna get picked every time and it really just throws off the play that little press bump cloud flats love to do that so the way you prevent that is with the motion snap and when you're catching this ball outside i like to do a little swerve catch to get you a better animation if you just pass it outside chances are you're gonna get an animation to run out of bounds so you might even have to possession catch it but if you go ahead click onto that outside receiver ted ginn you're just gonna move him over to the right a little bit and then you're gonna sort of move back up and um go ahead easily get the better animation to go up field so again motioning again over uh, I messed that up so uh, if you mess it up it's okay you can just motion back inside and motion him out wait for him to do that little shuffle snap the ball pass lead out and you guys see I was sort of I messed it up right there I didn't actually have enough separation so that was a early throw by me but again same setup motion again out wait for him to do the shuffle snap the ball we get instant shedded right there for some reason my delay fade uh, just did absolutely nothing I'll show you guys again here Go ahead, motion again out, snap our ball, and we're gonna go ahead, pass lead this all the way outside. You guys see, I click on, and then I move them up field. Now that does take practice. You're not gonna be able to easily do that right off the bat. So you're gonna have to go ahead. I would recommend going in practice mode. You can actually practice doing the swerve catch. Basically, you're just sort of moving your left stick out and up. Um, out, I mean, towards the right side, not necessarily down, but you guys see, if you, you don't have, to, um, but if you don't have this, go. Ahead. if you're like running draft champs, you don't have a slot apprentice, the route that I like to put on the field is this zig. Now, zigs are very good for this formation. I could just go ahead and run this play stock, and the zigs are still going to get open. Look how much yards I'm picking up. Like seven, eight, nine yards a rip now. Zigs are super good out of bunch anyway, so I would recommend running them out of the plays. You could, 
if you had the star apprentice you could put rb on like a corner b on a zig something like this and the zigs will just absolutely torch now that in our case i just almost threw a pick but uh, in our case we don't have that so the setup i'm running is just rb on a zig we're keeping that route and then we're basically running the same exact setup uh in this case i actually kind of like the regular x route or x on a regular in rather than smart routing it that's just me personally but again we're gonna have to motion get out wait for him to do that stutter step snap our ball we get screamed at somehow this superstar right tackle doesn't know how to block a dn big nickel over is just glitchy like that but again set up something like this motion get out wait for him to do that motion step snap our ball and pass lead to the outside you guys see it is a little bit tighter and i might actually had to have to possession catch so the corner is definitely better if you're running gun bunch you probably have a slot apprentice anyway but it is obviously still usable if you don't motion get out once again snap our ball and pass lead this to the outside there you see we did have enough space to do that swerve catch but it was a little bit closer so like I said, I do recommend, highly recommend getting this slot apprentice. It's only one player and you just keep him in your slot. It's going to absolutely do wonders for you and it's just going to make these throws way easier. And also you can do the cover three beater. Look how much more space I have with the corner route rather than the zig route. It's just way more room and I have a way better chance of turning this upfield and getting myself a touchdown. So that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the button. Don't forget to Subscribe to the channel as well for some more Fireman 20 content in the future. Follow me on Twitter, link will be in the description, and peace, I'm out of here.